Okay, 11 position or 12 position actually. It's technically a 12 position, but uh, the first position is nothing. So some people um, call it an 11 position, but it's actually a 12 position um, AEM switch. I don't have the um, sticker around it yet because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it the way that I have it set up. So I will show you how it all works here and I'll get into the Holly software and explain that. Okay, so I have my boost ramp, my boost by time, turned down uh, so it maxes at five. Um, just, for, just for testing this thing out. So I'm gonna turn this up one click at a time. So there's first click. Oops, that was two clicks. There's back one. There you go. Of course, this is um, dome pressure, you know, that it's adding to my gate. <clears throat> um, uh, scramble, hit scramble, adds three pounds. Um, so now I'll turn this down to like 10. Now I'm going to hit my trans brake and you see it time time it up so that's got it's got it set i've got it set to to um uh, try for seven pounds of boost on the trans brake and it's adding um it's adding five more here so that's why it's 12 when I hit the trans brake. Okay, so this is how you set up the 12 position switch. Um, so uh, 1D table in the advanced, advanced um, name it, whatever. I just got it named 12 position. Um, table type is a boost offset. Um, x-axis is 12 position or whatever it is that you have your input labeled as I have mine's 12 POS switch anyway um, so put your voltages down here um, I've just got mine uh, it the max it, it's got more spaces there so I just carry that out um, these are the actual voltages that you get when you test it. Um, I can show you how to do that. But uh, each one of these is the voltage of each step. So anyway, pretty simple. Um, I will show you quickly my boost table, just my boost versus time. So this is what it's adding that to. So this kind of gives you an idea of when I'm uh, running it on the trans brake, how it acts there in the timing um, on the other video that I will be showing. Anyway, uh, very simple. Um, how I personally have this pan pinned is, let's see, it is in, I have a CAN I.O. module, and if I can remember how to get to that, it's going to be in the I.O.s. So there we go, uh, the number four here, it's a 12 POS switch, it's a CAN 5 volt, um, you just configure your CAN, CAN stuff, um, just like everything else, um, pretty simple. Anyway, um, that switch is wired. It's very simple, um, especially if you have a CAN I.O. because CAN, the CAN I.O. setup has a five volt out and sensor ground out uh, all to it. So you can just run it right to that along with your input. Um, that's how I have mine set up. Seems to be working good. Okay, so how to get the voltages, you need to connect your laptop or whatever to the Holly. Uh, let's see. Um, don't even need to 
do that. I just need to, oh yes, I do need to open the current config. So you need to um, log into your, to the Holly, I guess, is what it's called. Um, turn your gauges on. So I have already done this, switched this on mine, but you just hold down on one of these gauges. Let's see. There we go. Uh, touch screen here. So you just you click on it if you got a mouse or you double click, whatever. Anyway, uh, that'll bring it up and you just, it should be, if, if you got it uh, labeled as a 12 position, it's going to be at the very top. Um, anyway, otherwise, if you have it labeled as something else, your input, find it in here, select it, make sure that you, uh, the value is um, two decimal places, and then OK. So now it's, uh, it's connected and it's logging the voltage. So I have this switch turned off right now. So this is first position. So just write these down, and this is what you're going to put in there. And your, your numbers should be probably the same as these. But So just click through. You can see... So that's volts, is what that number is. There you go. That's it. Easy enough.